Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Come on, praise him, saints. Praise him! Lift your voices and praise him. Lift your voice. Come on. Lift your voice and tell him how mighty he is, how glorious he is, how glorious he is, the God of glory. That's what Stephen called him, the God of glory. Just a few days ago, Pastor Benny Hinn invited Coy Barker to minister at the World Media Center in Aliso Viejo, California. The message which you're about to experience will make it abundantly clear that as we enter the season of Jubilee, it is your time for the turnaround you're so desperately seeking. Your faith will be lifted to new heights and you'll be positioned to expect sudden changes in your life and the lives of your loved ones and family. This truly is your day for a miracle. God is about to turn things around. He's about to make things right. He's about to move you to a whole nother level in the power and the kingdom of God. I hear somebody that's been saying, God, do it to me. I come to tell you, it's about to happen. Somebody give him a praise like you're ready for it to happen. I believe with all my heart that I heard the voice of God so clearly to me and, and, and just spoke it so powerfully inside me, not only to us who are here, but to those who are watching, who are ready for a miracle. I see children who have been far from God running back to God, saying, I'm ready to make it right. I hear the voice of God saying, everything that has come against you to keep you from where God's taken you is being stopped. Every barrier that hell has used against you is being stopped. Barriers are breaking. I said barriers are breaking. I said barriers are breaking. Good God Almighty, Jesus is in the house to break the barriers. I said it's turnaround time. I said it's turnaround time. God Almighty, breakouts are about to happen. Breakthroughs are about to happen. God said he's breaking stuff off of you. He's breaking the past off of you. He's breaking the pain of yesterday off of you. It's a brand new season. I said it's a brand new season for those who know redemption. Are you listening to me? God's going to unlock the redemptive plan of God at a new level. This morning at 4 o'clock, a little bit after God took me to Psalm 126. Most of you know this setting, but he took me there and said, some people that are getting up today don't realize it, but there's a change coming in their life. There's a turnaround headed in their life. The Bible said, and I love this in this scripture, the Bible said, when the Lord turned again their captivity. When the Lord turned.
turned again their captivity. Somebody say, God's turning it. God's turning it. You may not understand it all, but hear the word of a prophet tonight. God's turning it. Your situation is turning in your home, in your business, in your finances. Somebody hear the voice of God. There's a turnaround that's happening. Uh, Jesus. I love it. Somebody stood up there and did a turnaround. Somebody's about to get it. Uh, yeah, somebody is about to get a turnaround. Somebody is about to get a turnaround. I love the message Bible. And he said when the turnaround came, it seemed like a dream too good to be true. Mm, I'm talking to somebody. God's about to wake you up to a whole nother level of living. God's about to shake up things around you to another whole level of living. We're about to see the manifestation of what you prayed for. God, I feel the Holy Ghost all over you. Jesus! This is your moment. This is your time. This is that moment. you got to realize we're here on divine assignment. My God, I'm on a, a supernatural prophetic assignment to see God change things. How many is ready for a change? See, the Bible said that it was so good it seemed like a dream. Can I tell somebody Dream again. I said dream again. Enlarge your dreams again. The devil thought he stole it. The devil thought he kept you from it. But I got news for somebody. You're going to dream again. This time it's going to happen. Only it's going to happen exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel the oh, Yeah, don't mess with me. I'll take off running. I see God is about to change you forever. God's about to change your pain into gain. He's about to take your hurt and turn it to an advantage. God's about to take what was yesterday and use it as a setup for a mighty move of God in your life. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to somebody. God said he's going to turn it around. Look at your neighbor and slap them real good and say, a turnaround's coming. Look, look, look what he said. He said it's going to turn the captivity of Zion. Somebody say that's us. Oh, my God, I feel this so strong. Somebody in this place and somebody by television got up this morning one way, but you're about to go to bed a different way. I say God is about to turn it for your good. What was meant for evil is turning for your good. Come on, somebody. Take it. Take it. Get God a money. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, he's taken your barren places, and they're about to become so fruitful, people are going to start asking you, what happened to you? Come on, who am I talking? I say God's going to take your barren places and turn them into a fruitful place like you have 
never seen. Every broken place in your life is about to be turned around. Every broken place in your household is about to be turned around. Every broken place in your finances is about to turn. I wish I had a few believers in the house who would just reach and take it. Take it. It's mine. Take it. See, see, I believe with all my hearts, there's moments and then there's moments. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is a God moment like some of you will never have again. This is a God moment that's going to open a door into the supernatural at a level you've never tasted. Somebody in here is hungry, and you said to God, God, I'm ready to take the step into the supernatural. God said to you, it's here, and it's now, and you can have it. You can have it. You can have it. God's about to open heaven to you at a new level. You know what I feel? I feel the gates of hell shaking tonight. My God, I said I feel the gates of hell shaking tonight. Somebody in this place has already touched God. Somebody's already touched God. I prophesy to you, you check yourself. The miracle has already started. I said the miracle has already started. It's already in process. Jesus. Jesus. Some of you going to get healed just in your worship. Some of you going to get delivered just in your worship. Some of you going to see God do awesome things just in your worship. You're waiting on somebody to lay hands on you? He already has. I said he already has. God said this time is a divine assignment from the Holy Ghost. Even Pastor Benny said it a while ago. There's an atmosphere that's here tonight like he hasn't felt in a long time. You know why? Because God's doing a turnaround. He's turning it around. I said he's turning it around. He's changing everything. See, a lady brought me a little baby. I was thinking about tonight when we was worshiping God. The place was so full, they took all the chairs out, and everybody just packed and standing, arm shoulder to shoulder, couldn't even sit down, kind of like it is here. I looked at this night, and looked, they are talking about people being out in the overflow and being out in the foyer. I thought, there's somebody that's hungry. There's somebody that's thirsty. There's somebody that's ready for a turnaround. This old mother brought me this crippled up baby. All twisted up. I was feeling it so strong just a few minutes ago. Somebody's got to understand God's about to straighten things out. I said God's about to straighten things out. She brought that little twisted baby up to me and said to me so clearly, she said, Pastor Barker, we can't fix this. I said, but just one touch of the mighty hand of God can fix it. Are you listening to me? Just a touch. Just a touch. Somebody here is getting a just a touch. I said just a touch. Somebody in your home is getting just a touch. That's all you need. Just a touch. She handed me that crippled up, gnarled up little baby. I began to weep as I took that baby in my hands. I thought, dear God, What can I do? I can't heal a gnat of a headache. What can I do? 
He said, all you got to do is lift it up to me. I took that little baby, held it up over my head in my hands, tiny little baby, held it up there, and I said, Jesus, do what I can't do. Let a miracle happen. Let a supernatural happen. Let, you, let your power touch this little baby. Can I tell you, saints, I felt that baby jump in my hands. I squeezed it, gently brought it back down. And when it came back down to eyesight, every cripple bone was made whole. Every informative was made whole. Come on, somebody. Say, it's turnaround time. It's turnaround time. I feel such a pulling, such a pulling of the Holy Ghost to tell you that the ministry that we're a part of right now, it's all about getting things right with God so that you can be healed, so that you can be healthy, so that you can prosper in everything you do. May I tell you, some of you right there in your home, you just need to get it right with God. You just need to say, Lord, help me. I need your forgiveness. I'm talking to some of you under a dark cloud of guilt. Listen to me. God in a moment can take it away. God in a moment can erase it. God's saying this is your turnaround time. You don't have to go another moment. God has brought you to this moment to make it right. Say, help me, Jesus. See, sometimes we think you got to pray some pretty prayer. No, when I was in my bedroom as a backslider, I just said, help me, Jesus. Can I tell you? That quick a turnaround happened in my life. I couldn't pray a pretty prayer, but God heard me, flipped my life around, changed everything about me. I watch this carefully. The Holy Spirit made it so clear to me today. When you read the last two verses, verse 5 and verse 6 of Psalm 126, here's the key. Here's the master key. Everybody know what a master key is? It unlocks your destiny. It unlocks your miracle. It turns everything around in your life. I hear the Holy Ghost say, there is a turnaround that's in the atmosphere. There's a turnaround that God's about to show up in. Hear the word of the Lord. And the Bible said that they sowed in tears, but they reaped in joy. Oh, y'all not listening to me. Because they offered up to God a precious seed. Come on, somebody say, a precious seed. Precious means highly valued. Something that's highly valued. I want to talk to you from my heart as a caring person. I understand with all my heart we're in a critical season in the kingdom of God. We're at a turning point in the kingdom of God. And God's saying if there's ever been a moment that you offer to God that that is precious. Are you listening to me? The Bible said there was a woman who had an alabaster box of perfume, expensive perfume, that made her way to Jesus. Are you listening to me? And the Bible said when she made her way to Jesus, that she took that expensive perfume in front of all the haters and the agnostics. I'm talking to somebody. It's time to get beyond the haters. It's time to get beyond people's opinions. It's time to get beyond logic. Are you listening to me? The Holy Spirit said... And she broke it, and the value of it was a year's wages. Come on, somebody talk to me. Somebody say it was precious. When you offer to God what is precious, then God takes that that was precious and turns it to the harvest that you need in your life. I remember so very well the first time God ever told me, to give what was precious. He said to me, write a check for $10,000. Now, that might be easy for some of you, 
but I wrote a check for 10000 with fear and trembling because God brought me from a check poverty to a lifestyle of financial freedom. And it wasn't some little magic wand. It was a process of having ears to hear what the prophet said and then doing what the prophet said. Are you listening to me? Some of you are about to break out. You're about to move into another dimension because you're hearing the voice of God. And you're going to offer to God that that is precious. Precious, highly valued. Some of you at home, listen carefully. Listen carefully. God's talking to you by the Holy Spirit. Just pray with me a second. God's about to give a miracle of miracles. And God's saying to some of you, you need to give that special seed of significance. Maybe a thousand, maybe five thousand, maybe ten thousand, but it's a seed of significance. Some of you are saying, I'm ready for this season of Jubilee. Listen carefully to me. Pray, church. Intercede by the Holy Spirit. God's about to do a turnaround in somebody's life. The Bible makes it real clear that we, when we enter in to the season of Jubilee, which happens every 50 years, that God requires of us that our kids come back home, that we're astray. That sickness would be healed. Are you listening to me? That your business would gain new footing. Debts would be removed. Somebody listen to me right now. God's requesting of you a $50 a month for 12 months, which is $600. I know the voice of God. I'm not here for me. Coy Barker didn't come here for me. We come here for you. And God's saying it's your moment. It's your time. I see your family running to God. I see your household running to God. You need to run to that phone and say, I'm that person. I'm going to offer up to God that precious gift, that gift that costs me something to be highly esteemed. Father, I just ask you for a release from fear, from intimidation, and from the powers of darkness. Set them free to run to that phone, to hear, to obey, and to take hold of what you said. It's your turnaround time. It's in your hands. You must participate. You must give God permission. And you're doing it when you pick the phone up. You dial that number. Or you're going to the website. And you're, you're punching in to a very secure website. At Pastor Benny's ministry. It's your time. It's your moment. God wants you to do it right now. It's turnaround time. Are you ready for your turnaround? Take an act of faith. Your season will change by your act of faith. I said your season will change by your act of faith. Somebody that's ready for a turnaround here, let's give some noise in the house to Almighty God. Come on, I can't hear you. Make some noise in the house. What a joy and an honor for us to be here be a part of what God's doing at Benny Hinn Ministry. What a joy to be connected to such a powerful, anointed man of God and a ministry that's touching the whole world. I'm so excited about it. And I just, I want to encourage you to listen intently to what the Holy Spirit's saying. This is a God moment for you. I'm so aware that God has ordained brought us together, set us in this position. And with all my heart, I know that I know that you that's at home right now, by the Spirit of God, you have felt the calling of the Holy Spirit. You felt the nudging of the Holy Spirit. You recognize what's happening through Benny Hinn Ministries, touching the world. This is fertile soil for you to plant a significant seed into the kingdom of God. I've lived long enough to watch God's people get blessed, get helped. And so I'm going to ask you right now, if you are desiring a turnaround, you're ready for God to turn things around in your life. I'm asking you to go to that telephone, pick it up, put it on your credit card, do whatever you have to do, get the seed in the ground, $600 one time or $50 a month. 
I want you to do it right now. Do not hesitate. Let me tell you what happens. If you sit there and begin to try to rationalize, the enemy will steal the harvest God has in his heart for you. Somebody that's watching right now, you've got a legal situation. God wants to correct it in a supernatural way, but you need to get seed in the ground. For you that's listening by the Spirit, you know God's about to bring your family into the kingdom. So he's asking you to plant a seed from your heart. And listen to me carefully. What you do is not going to change my life. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you what you do is going to change your family. It's going to cause a turnaround in your physical life. It's going to cause miracles to begin to happen. And I want you to run to the phone. Do not hesitate. Do not sit there and weigh it back and forth. Obey the call of the Holy Spirit. Hear God from down deep in my heart saying, this is your God moment. This is your God moment. I feel such an anointing for your turnaround. Some of you have said, God, I have to have a turnaround. The door's open. Pick the phone up as you dial it. That action of faith causes the miracle to begin to happen. So I'm asking you right now, in Jesus' name, go to the phone and say, here is my $600 one time or $50 a month. I need my Jubilee right now. We're in that season. You understand the seasons, the timing of God. This is that moment. I'm listening for your call. Please go to the phone right now and say, this is it. Go to, a, to the website, very secure site. And make that commitment right now in Jesus' name. I tell you, I can feel such turnarounds happening right now. As we're closing out this moment, I'm telling you, run to the phone. Get to the phone. Get to the computer. Do what God is instructing you to do, and God is going to give you a turnaround for your household, for your physical body, for your emotions. This is the time. So I want you to do what the Holy Spirit's saying do and know God has called it to happen. I want you to know on behalf of Benny Hinn, the great ministry, thank you in advance for being a part of what God's doing. Your call changes your life. So go now in Jesus' name and say, here I am planting my seed for a miracle. I want you to know that we love you. We're praying for you. This ministry is praying for you. May God bless you until we connect again. Many of you are not on our mailing list, and you're missing a lot because we send out teachings in the mail in these brochures. Here's one on the anointing. Here's one on the three realms of prayer, beautifully done with pictures, and the teaching is all there. Very nice. Paul Crouch told me years ago, he said, I enjoy most your teachings that you send in the mail. Don't miss this opportunity to begin receiving Pastor Benny's regular teaching messages through the mail. Write, call, or request them online today. 